Boasting a plethora of navigable waterways, Kentucky offers something for every boater, whether you're paddling, motoring, or under sail. Here's a few of our favorite stretches as featured on the Downstream TV series. The Kentucky River is very large and is commonly accessed from locations in Winchester and Frankfort, Kentucky. In Frankfort, the river cuts through the center of downtown in the shape of a horseshoe. This route is flat and calm, perfect for beginners. In Winchester, just a mile from Boonesboro State Park, you can find an entry point to kayak or canoe. Just be careful not to pass the takeout at Valley View as dangerous dams lie ahead. The High Bridge Ramp in Wilmore, Kentucky marks the beginning of a roughly seven mile route along the Dix River. The Hanging Fork offers three different rapids before its takeout at the Highway 52 Bridge. This trip is best suited for those with a little experience as it can take anywhere from two to four hours depending on water conditions. The Falls of the Ohio is a two and a half mile series of rapids caused by a 30 foot drop in the Ohio River. The falls are easiest accessed from the Indiana side of the George Rogers Clark boat ramp. It's important to be aware of the floodgates. When they're closed, it's calm. But when they're open, it can be very dangerous. Many enjoy the contrast of Louisville's urban skyline against the history-rich, fossil-filled river. Beargrass Creek is the main urban creek in Louisville, spanning 67 square miles. This stream has been manipulated over the years to help drain downtown Louisville. It has three main areas, Muddy Fork, Middle Fork, and South Fork. Beargrass Creek is considered very safe for paddling. Just make sure to observe the rules outlined by the city. Floyd's Fork is another popular destination for paddling in Louisville. There are a few different routes you can take which range between two and five miles long. These options ensure that you can find the right mixture of rapids or still water for your experience level. The best place to put in is at Cane Run. Lawrenceburg's Salt River offers calm, shallow waters, but be cautious as it can get narrow at certain parts. Put-in access is available at Slab River Crossing. This destination features gorgeous views of rolling hills and sycamore trees along the shoreline. The swift currents will keep the trip interesting by creating frequent small rapids and ledges. Bardstown's Beach Fork is a popular paddling route with a majority of Class 1 rapids, including a 5-foot drop down the river resulting in a Class 3 run. This stretch of river is a tributary of the Rolling Fork and Salt River and eventually empties into the Ohio River. The Beach Fork is really only accessible from November to June and the best place to put in is at Rubble Dam. Georgetown's Elkhorn Creek is a state favorite paddling route with 17 miles of navigable water and multiple access points throughout the city. One of the most favored courses, the Palisades, offers eight miles of paddling and a mixture of rapids. Drake's Creek in Bowling Green is best for kayaking or canoeing and flows into the Barren River. Surrounded by a large car system, much of this shaded creek is fed by underground springs. A tributary of the Licking River, Hinkston Creek in Bourbon County is great for fishing from a kayak or canoe. When the water is high, as there is typically a good amount of structure or debris for fish to hang out in. Not for the faint of heart, this waterway is located outside Elkhorn City at the Brakes Interstate Park near the border of Virginia. This whitewater stretch represents some of the most challenging Class 4 and Class 5 rapids in the eastern United States.